Commonwealth. So, um, Jeff, mm. uh, by that time now, I'm right, also here. Yeah. <laughs> and jealous. <laughs> 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 so that, Patiently rugby, listening. Mm. Now rugby you've become now um, a, a household name. Sasa Imeshika. Mm-hmm. Uh, were you playing with Rombo? Rombo was my coach by the time we were going to the Commonwealth Games. So he was my coach at that particular time. And at that particular time, now I used to play rugby in England, right? For Rugby Lions. And I just got a call up to now join Coventry. Uh, I remember coming now for the Commonwealth Games to me was a very prestigious thing. But you see, to my club, they did not feel like it was uh, worth something worth now taking a break from the season to actually come and participate in. Mm-hmm. So I remember that uh, my, manage, the, my manager was really against it. And uh, he told me, Alan, you know, if you go there, anything that happens there, it's entirely up to you. So I mean, I said, Z, me, I have to go and play for my country, man. Yeah? Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, it is, it's Commonwealth Games. You know, to us, it's a big thing. <laughs> so I traveled back. I was called. I traveled back. I came, joined the team, trained, and then now uh, we were off to Melbourne. Australia. Mm. Very interesting times. Uh, but I remember the last, last. so we were set up in the village. Um, everybody now is, um, is uh, you know, getting settled in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, people getting their roomies. Mm-hmm. So my roommate was um, Patrick Onyango, who is actually uh, my best friend. Um, so we were in the, same, in the same room. So we used to train. It was fun times. Was you know, it a good team? It, it was a very good team. Mm. It was made up with Kina Alan Onyango. Patrick Onyango, you know, Kina Lavin, Asego, mm-hmm. Kina Humphrey, mm-hmm. you know, all of them were there. So it was a very solid team. Uh, Kina Namkos, who's now the nini, the coach. The coach. Kina Victor Sudi, you know, mm, Sudi, yeah, yeah. who's now the coach for Kenya Harlequins. Mm-hmm. So it was a very solid, solid side. So, uh, Commonwealth, I remember now, we've gone, the team naming, the shots have been given out. Then I had a, then I was called. So I was told, mm-hmm. and Oscar Osiro was, was also on that side. <coughs> So I was told, um, so this, this, for this, uh, for tomorrow's game, Alan Makaka is the one who's going to start. And normally it's Oscar Osiru who always used to start. And then now I'd come in after Oscar. So, yeah, I was, it was very, it was very excited actually. I was very excited mm-hmm. to actually start, you know. So, um, first game, uh, that evening when we were going to bed, I remember I was having a conversation with Patrick and I was telling Patrick, Patrick, I have this very bad feeling very bad feeling that I, you know, you just, I just felt bad. You know, like, I don't know if it's anxiety or I don't know what was it. So Patrick was just telling me, no, 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 no. It's probably just butterflies that you're the one starting the game tomorrow. Relax. Just sleep it off. Tomorrow will be a better day, game life. And then we see how it goes from there. So the next day comes first game uh, of the tournament. (laughs) First uh, touch of the ball, I break. Gone, 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 all the way to the 22. We score. Mm-hmm. Kick off. Next kick off. Center. Uh, Namco's breaks. Goes, 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 goes. Gives to Lavin. Lavin goes to the corner. I remember it like it was yesterday. Mm-hmm. Lavin goes to the corner. So um, he was isolated. So I said, you know what? Let me go and um, say, dear Lavin. Mm-hmm. So I go. So Lavin passes the ball to me. As Lavin passes the ball to me, step now to swing it back. Mm-hmm. There's something we used to call a pivot. Mm-hmm. So I was Lavin's pivot. So I was going to pass the ball back. Hey, 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 hey. The next sound I just had was a crack. Mm. Yeah. Hey. I was like, what? So anyway, I go down. So I go down. Then the you know the the play clears from where I was, and the play goes on. So I'm just feeling pain, 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 pain. So the ref comes and everybody else comes, and then they ask me, um, so will he be able to go on? So you see, you're you're in shock. So I'm like, yeah, 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 because now I could feel the pain subsiding. Mm. So I'm like, yeah, 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 I'll go on, I'll go on. Jeff, I stood up, my leg, hey, the lower, from the knee going down, mm. was facing this other oh. side. Yani, I'm trying to comprehend, okay, uh. what, 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 what is that? You know, back I thought I was concussed, you know, because why am I seeing things like that? Maybe mm. I'm concussed. Mm. So you try to shake your head, nini, nothing. Ah, I stood up, no, 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 no. They said, Z, lie down. They called in now the... Um, the medics. Yeah. Oh. So I was, I was taken out. Stretcher. Stretcher out, out, out immediately. So, you know, there you're taken to the back room. And there you get your verdict instantly. You know, still on a bonga to kuli up. See, at it turned out 20, even 20, even 20. So um, I was told, yeah, I mean, uh, yes, you, the good, there's good. And remember the doctor told me, Alan, I have uh, bad news and good news. Yeah. And uh, I'll just give it to you the way I, I see fit. 
the bad news is you've done your you, you have a complete uh, um, ligament tear. You've turned your ACL, uh, um, and uh, you have uh, you've strained your LCL as well, and your meniscus has an issue. Your knee, my kneecap had also chomokad. Mm. It, has, it had moved from place. Mm. So, and he told me the good news is that um, we can fix it, but uh, it's an easy fix. I mean, it's probably would be like a 30 minutes procedure, and uh, it will take you a bit of time to come back, but you'll eventually come back. He <laughs> said, so uh, it's our. So, of course, I was taken, and things you know, now they just wrap it up, yeah? Mm. So, you go back to the village. Jeff, that was the lowest moment of my life. Now you're in a cast? You've not even, you're just now, it's just been, because I just have to put it in place first. Mm. That was the lowest moment of my life. I remember we won that game and people coming into now the, the changing rooms and every, Jeff, I was just, I, I was just in tears. Mm. It's over. Because your, yeah, your career was over. It's over. Or at least this tournament. Or yeah, this, the tournament, yeah. That it's over. I mean, there's just one game, first half, gone. gone. Just like that. You know? Just like that. And mm. the worst part, it wasn't even at a, 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 a serious team that we were playing. Right. Yeah, it was a minial. It was just, <laughs> I think it was Malaysia or something like that. Oh, no. Can you imagine? Oh, no. I was just sad. Mm. And it was the lowest moment of my life. Mm. I remember going back there. The players were very supportive because they would wheel me because now I'm on a wheelchair. So they would wheel me everywhere. Oh. You know, wheel me to the stands, wheel yeah. me everywhere. Yeah. And you know, I mean, that's, the, I, I really like rugby because of that. Even way after, guys are very supportive. Yeah. How do you guys do in the tournament overall? No, we don't, we didn't get to win the tournament, but we performed fairly good. Yeah. Okay. Um, so everybody, so we went that night. We went for went for uh, went to see the doctors, and the doctors scheduled me in for surgery. So I had to remain behind. So I was left behind, uh, and the rest of the team had to come back because we were moving on to Hong Kong mm. for the Hong Kong tournament. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there I was left behind. They left me with the Kenyan community there who really took very great care of me. Baden Powell's uh, uh, brother, right? Can you imagine? The scouting. Wow. Yes, the guy yeah. who formed yeah. the Boy Scouts. Yeah. Lord Baden imagine, Powell. Imagine. Mm. Wow. Imagine. His brother now is the one who now used to take care of me. He really took me around Melbourne. Mm -hmm. Very nice places, mm -hmm. Jeff. Yeah. He even took me to the very prestigious club, mm -hmm. right? He told me, Alana, this is a club. Jeff, I went to that club. I thought those, that was a painting. I thought it was a painting. Mm. Jeff, those were trees, live trees. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> uh. So anyway, uh, surgery done. Uh, came back to Kenya. Now physio now. Physio is every day. Yeah. 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 That time I was in USIU. Now even moving USIU was a problem. Um, now you see my father. And I really, you know, I, I, I really love my father. I'll be very honest. My father is a very tough man, but when it comes to very, when it comes, to, when it, when it, when, when it comes to that time, he really comes through, you know. Mm. Father had one car and he gave me the car, mm. you know, like him, he would, he would walk and he'd tell me, no, what you do, mm. you take the car, mm. you know, because now you can't move, you can't, you can't, you know, it's, it was a struggle, yeah. you know, yeah. going to school now with Matatu, you know, it was, it was a struggle. Yeah. Yeah. So after that, it was a very disappointing time in my life. So I started drinking. And, uh, you know, I'd made a little bit of money in, in, in Drito. So I started drinking. After a while, I said, ah, me, I can't even live with my father. You know what? I'm not staying here. So I went and got myself an apartment in Westlands, you know, and uh, moved in. And uh, it was a party, man. It was a party, Jeff, I must say. <laughs> and I went down the downward and spiral. So every day at queues, buying shots, nini, mm. party, party, party. But you see, for that, every time I used to, find, I, I used to be very depressed, Jeff. Every time I was alone, I used to find, I, I used to ask myself very difficult questions. Mm. Why me? Mm. Honestly, what was this? Honestly, mm. why now? You know? Yeah. Why now? And then you see what used to even make me feel so bad was, first I never used to drink. Stories are my damn sick one, a penda. Mm. And then this happens to me. Honestly, I was a Christian, staunch. You know? Yeah. I did everything I could do. Drinking was like, you never understand. You're on, you're on a mission. I, you wake up and you just want to go back mm. to how you were feeling the previous mm. night, you know? Yeah? yeah? Party, party, party. My house, hey, if you ask, guys, my house was the party central. Yeah? <laughs> As in, hey, Friday, Fikas, everyone is asking, hey, so what's the plan? Uh, ah, we can get my, 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 my
and that that's that's the kind of life i usiu now i even didn't want that story for usiu i chomokad you know Cause jeff i really don't like pity to be very honest yeah. i'm mm. i'm that one person you tell me poly i feel weak mm. you know mm. i just rather you just linger yeah i yeah. just go through it but i i, I, I that one i just struggle with it mm. you know mm. so yeah i mean uh, life went on the downward spiral i met uh, so i decided uh, school watch i watch i work i post kidogo i just figure sort myself out i remember my mom was very concerned at that particular point and my mom had a conversation with my dad and he told my dad you know alan is drowning and if you don't do something this guy will isha mm. and my dad my, this is now my brother telling me and my dad would tell uh, my mom there's nothing you're going to do for alan right now alan has to hit rock bottom for you to be able to remove him from that particular situation yeah. he must hit rock, rock bottom. bottom and i tell you my, my mom is called margaret margaret as much as it pains me as a father there is no way you're going to pull alan out of this hole right now so as painful as it is just let him be wow. and jeff i did hit rock bottom hmm. wow, wow 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 everything you've drunk everything now you know i mean now kwisha now you start now going into rent arrears mm -hmm. hey that time i'd uh, moved in with um, kina patrick onyango and alan onyango now we used to live together and it was really bad and you know now them they used to shikilia rent and things like that but he, alan and patrick were really i actually consider them my brothers hmm. because those guys have chomwad me from shimos that I see you at any same nini. You know, I see you at any same nini. Kina Ron. Ron, as much as Ashikangi Zimuzangu Squeezy, Ron Kidero. Ron really is a very nice guy. You know, very, very nice guy. Right? Then again, I used to have support from my SIU friends. Kina Kiarie, Kina Migui. You know, very, very solid guys. Guys I used to play rugby with in SIU. Kina Omamo, Rachel Omamo's brother. Very nice guys, solid guys. We used to play rugby, and they would come through, and they would always try and find out where am I, what am I doing, and things like that. Yeah. So, Patrick just got some to some level and just called my parents and told them, "Listen," and I had a conversation with my mom and told this guy, "This is it. I'm a hit. You guys have to come through." <laughs> That's when now my dad came. Told me, "Alan, everything is done. Yes. Now come. Come and stay in this house here." Kanyanisha SQ. Yeah? That's where you'll be operating from. Yeah? Mm. I couldn't stay there. I mean, I got, uh, I got, got myself a naka one room. Just over there. Uko in Kuru, Kwanjenga. So I was operating from up on Kuru. And you know, all this time, people see you in the limelight. Think, think people just think you're sour, everything is good. Yes. But from there, I got a one bedroom up on Kuru, Kwanjenga. And that's where I was operating from. And le Jeff, let me tell you, life was very difficult there. Jeff, you didn't even have, you can't, don't even have 20 bob to go to Tao. Imagine. From all that buying shots in Nini, mm. now you don't even have 20 bob. Right. Wow. And that's where now, I think, uh, lessons have to be learned. Are you getting? Yeah. So now my dad now comes in, tells me, nah? so now, you're easy? Yeah. Tell me, listen, Alan, eh? what has happened has happened. Yeah. The worst thing you're going to do is destroy yourself. Right? So there are two things you are going to do for me. One, you are going to go back to school. Sawa. And get that degree. Right? Mm -hmm. Even if you don't want it, do it for me. Mm -hmm. Sawa. And the second thing, you are going to get out of this pity party that you are in. Sawa. Alan, this is not my son. What I am looking at is not my son. This is not what I raised. Alan, I raised a very strong man. Now, what I am seeing is not the person I raised. So you're going to get out of your pity party and you're going to be something different. Mm. There's somebody in my life, people always, there are small phrases that people make that I really catch. I remember uh, there's this Dominic Habimana, Papa, we call him Papa. Mm. He, was, um, he, was, he was at Queens. He was in part of the technical bench at Queens. That time I was playing for Kenya Harley Queens rugby when all this had happened, um, prior to all this happening. And um, Papa came all the way to my house to pick me, to take me to Nakuru for uh, Great Rift. No, no. Mm -hmm. And we really enjoyed though with Kina Nani, Kina Leslie, Leslie, you know, Mulokoto. And it was, it, you know, th those are acts that make you feel that people really haven't given up on me. Blind. Kina Pato would pick me every weekend to take me for a rugby game. Are you getting? Mm -hmm. And to be honest, I don't think it really did much for me because I think I just started feeling even worse. Because yeah. yeah. even there now, it's just... You know, people are just telling you, oh, pole, pole, pole. You know, those things, I really don't like them, you know. 
So after a while in my kawan bedroom uh, things have locked I start throwing around CVs I just asked myself Jeff any this is what I've become this is what has become of me this is what I've decided just watching telenovelas here mm. eh and uh, nigerian movies you know that time nigerian movies had shikat yes and now they used to come on citizen up <laughs> mchana mm. i used to still have that kawan tv of mine that i'd bought those days yeah that yep. i still kufad with it you know and i'm just and i asked myself and even it akua so i remember one time there was banad dong banad dong used to cover sports during those times mm. yeah mm. and banad dong used to very played a very keen interest like he used to always always follow me in terms of interviews and things like mm. that So one day we just met at Queens and I told him boss now I'm looking for a job. Uh, can you say dear? He just told me okay Alan I, I honestly don't know what I can do but you at least send me something I see if I can. I can uh, send it somewhere. Mm. Uh this time as I'm just throwing around CVs I met another gentleman called Victor Sudi. Victor Sudi was my teammate. Victor Sudi told me something that really I I I use it until today in every aspect of my life. And what Victor Sudi told me is that Alan listen one you must accept that that was your life. Now it's not as it was. And Alan you are not going to be that manganga. You know my nickname was manganga 9.9. <laughs> That's a fact. But what you need to do is reinvent yourself. Mm-hmm. And that's what Sudi told me. You need to reinvent yourself. Mm-hmm. Till today I think Sudi meant it in a rugby kind of way but me I took it in a different context. And um so uh, Brian was at uh, K24 at the time he's doing sports for them so one day I was just called and I was told hey uh, we got your CV and um, we have a position and we're looking for people would you like to come in so I said yeah why not so I went in so I was interviewed then they said okay uh, we we'll, we'll let you know yeah we'll get back to you so I went back home I walked home and i just relaxed you know now hakuna kitu kingine utafanya unajua weekdays there's nothing to do mm. the only things your highlights are the weekends because that's now when rugby yeah, activities are going on mm. um school of course now i'd gone to school now but it's schools are evening classes mm. i used to go mostly in the evenings because i don't want to meet with i don't want to meet with guys in the mo- in the during the day stack is a nini ati oh nini you know mtu anakuangalia na mauruma nini so i used to go in the evenings yeah so i ngangana de ngangana de ngangana Um after like I think like three, four months um this time I'm still in school I got a phone call and um it was the MD yeah who called me and told me hey I have the CVs on my desk could you come in for an interview tomorrow and I said yes I can tell you the suit I wore was my father's yeah and I threw out his suit and I went and I sat in the interview and you know what I did I just told the guy the truth <laughs> I just told the guy the truth. Mm. And I spoke to the guy and I told him, "Listen, the qualifications that you're probably looking for, Miss Ina, Maskia. And uh, but I'll tell you what I have. Me I'm very confident. And I know I can do this job. And I trust and I believe in myself. So what I'll ask for you from you is just give me three months. After 3 months, if there's really nothing, then uh, you know, you can make the decision." Mm. So the guy told me then in that case then let me not pay you. And you do it for free. It's called uh, wanyaga, it's called wanyaga. My name is called wanyaga. And wanyaga told me then you do it for free then. If you're that confident about yourself mm-hmm. then you do it for free. Then I'll give you a commission structure. You do it for free. I told him Mr. Wanyaga, he's called Paul Wanyaga. Mm, Paul, DW. Yeah. Um I'm going to be if 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 I need you to enable me to also do this thing because at the position I am in right now in my life if I do it for free then I'll not be able to even get here. And he said okay fine. So then I'll pay you 25,000 bob. A month. Yeah. So you ngangana with that. Aya. I said sawa. Cuz you know now you can't I mean that's what mm. you have. You are you know you can't now start saying negotiating oh, mm. oh, 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 you know you've already told the guy hey boss you know this experience that you're probably looking for me I don't have. Mm. And uh, I said sawa so I started. So I di- I had um, I think I took Patrick's shoes. Patrick Konyango's shoes. Those are the ones I started with. Mm. I even went to Pato, Pato gave me trousers, shirts. I took Pato's shirts. Sindio. Those are the ones I started because you know with rugby, you know we really don't buy shirts and things mm-hmm. like that. We tend to buy a lot of polos yeah. and t-shirts yeah. and you know. 
But tra- now training. And then you yeah. come now you're in getting job sector you realize hey boss I don't have shirts. Hmm. All right. Summarize your story because uh, uh, Teddy Otieno is waiting here. Cause okay. But anyway. Mm. Um, so you did that for three months? So I did that for three months. Yes. I got into, and that's how I got into media, man. I got into media. Yeah, but that first check you got, what was that? First check, Jeff, was 255,000. From, from 25. Do you know what I did? Go when on. I got that color, uh. called my brother. Oh, Mikey, where are you? Uh, <laughs> I'm here just in town. Mm. Come, come, come. We're here at uh, Stanford. <laughs> Told the guy, boss, let uh, let let Tuntaka kuku. Kiasi gani, boss? Ah, let 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 Mbili. <laughs> kuku Mbili. Mbili. Akasema, eh. <laughs> oh, ni, ni funge? Ah, ah. Let her tutu nakulia. <laughs> One each. One each. Ni lembo meki meki mbaka tukulizi kuku. Tumalize. You know, I used to pass there. It used to be on my way home, eh. And I used to pass there. Unazo kuku zinazunguka, unasema tu shit. One day. <laughs> Ndaingia kwa hii kwa hii kwa hii kenchi na inunua ile mambo ndafanya hapa <laughs> nilimwambia leta kuku akasema na chips ah tataki chips Mm-mm. soda ah ah wewe leta tu kuku akakata kata hapo akakata kata eh. tukapanda huko juu yake yangu hakuna kugusa ya mwingine <laughs> Jeff mlimaliza hey what do you mean bana eh? hey kutoka hapo tukaingia place nyingine hapo tukasema boss tutataka tukunywe taska kumi kumi <laughs> after work now Mikey akaeka zake hapo mimi nikaekewa zangu hapa. Aish. Don't do those things like never seen because Mikey sasa twende home before tumalize hii pesa hapa. <laughs> And that's how my life changed around. Oh, Alan Makaka man. <laughs> you have lived a life and uh, did you ever go back to rugby now? Uh, well, I, I I'm still I'm in rugby, you okay, know Jeff. But, but, I, but your leg healed. My leg healed, yeah. but um you know well, that It was never the same. Yeah, it was never the same. Yeah. yeah. Oh man. So, what a now, story. This is where we are, Jeff. What a story, man. <laughs> Alan Makaka, you you have taken us. Man, that story was long, but hey, everybody has a story, and we appreciate that. Thanks so much, man. All the best, huh? And good luck with the elections today. Asante sana. Two and a money. Asante. It's the hot breakfast with Jeff and Jelano.